Oh, the girl? Yeah. You seen her? Yeah, I've seen the flyer. I, we just came out here Sunday. That's really sad. It is, isn't it? But it's a long time. We're out here looking. We're just, we're actually asking people too yeah. if they've seen her. Yeah, I called my dad because my dad's up on the St. John's. Yeah. So I just, I just let him know. You know what I mean? He lives on a houseboat, so he actually talks to a lot of different people up and down the river. So I put the word out. Did you see, were you camping out here? No, it's just Sunday we came out. Did you see any alligators out there? Nah, I honestly, I came out here kind of on like a little needed to like get away type thing, like little uh, cleanse situation. Yeah. So I was kind of like laying down for two days but um my girl was all up and down with the dog and yeah we, we've seen a lot of coyotes oh you seen coyotes yeah there are coyotes out like crazy you can see their poop all up and down this trail right here interesting um, does a coyote could a coyote eat a person I'm attack a person i i live with one. my grandma on lake orlando in yeah. rosemont which is the center of the damn city yeah i used to do towing and these guys were assholes they worked me for 18 hours and they knew i didn't have a car and you okay you want to stop working ride your bike home you know and so at three in the morning i'm riding my bike home and the road is called long road and i get off claricone at the long road and two of them set on me. oh wow and it took everything i had i mean this is after an 18 hour shift to work but you know, but we would have seen articles of clothing being something. Yeah, sworn. no, it would have been like a dog attack. You would have yeah. seen blood. You would have seen. Plus, the dogs that were searching for uh, Paola would have scented that, yeah, right? They yeah, would have. For sure, for sure. Yeah, and it would have been messy. They're not. They're not. And then, yeah, it would have been messy. Interesting. Feel my pants. Yeah, yeah. Feel my pants. Are they, they wet? Me, like them. I said, dude, they set on me in the heart of the city. A wet. I think well, my, uh, what happened with that? I mean, that's got to be a water-related thing. You think so? And then I seen the sign yesterday, a public store that says she might have had a breakdown or something. So that's, I know some people that went into the woods for longer than that and ended up being okay. So, you know. Well, we don't, we talked to her family. We don't think that she had a. Yeah. Did uh, she have a history of that or? Well, she did have some a medical history, but right. you know, nothing, it, it, like, nothing recent, yeah, nothing yeah. recent. And she was at. Remember, remember this too. Her vehicle was here. Her keys, her wallet, oh, wow. and her phone were in. It was all here. Yeah. And then she's seen swimming. That's got to the Gators, man. That's exactly what I thought too, man. Because I'm from Fort St. Lucie, and it's like I don't know if you know where that is, but yeah. it's yeah. the Indian River. And we grew up on the St. Lucie River, and you know, every year some kid would disappear, usually with his family, even. You know, like it's just like the Gators are just. If yeah. it's a mom, and they, and she's got babies, they are super mean. I mean, I've had them. Ram my dad's house. Yeah, but can an alligator swallow a human? No, like but they can drag you down and take you under a tree. I mean, this river is so full of shit, man. Like, yeah. My my dad's breached his hall at least four or five times. Just, you know, I mean, there's trees in the river as big as that, and you just don't see them as big as that. I'm yeah. not bullshitting. Them. I've seen it. Yeah. And um, there nobody gets paid to clean it up. They just kind of rot away and drift off and but they're still there you know what i mean so that's and that's what the alligators like to do they like to pull shit down underneath yeah. that right. and, and then hold them there and until they're ready there. yeah and it might it's, it's sad to say god kelly you're seriously eating my only work food wow bro wow bro look at that jonathan look at that thank you, thank you. i'm literally so every single so you were in the swamp yeah but, uh, every single inch of me is just days, so. So uh, we talked to the, the Spanish dude. Uh, he said he was the main investigator or whatever. Oh, oh you here. spoke to oh, an investigator Lopez. here? Lopez. Yeah, he was here Sunday or Saturday. Saturday. We got here Saturday. Oh, really? With a uh, really pretty girl. She was uh, long hair. Probably Andrea. Yeah, yeah his, I, his I, sister. Think, I think. Paola's sister? I, not, I don't think it was. I don't know. I didn't ask. We were talking about this. So did the investigator ask you anything? Oh, yeah, yeah. He what did he ask thorough. you? He asked all the questions. He's like, and I told him about my dad. He's like, well, see if you can give your dad a call, put the word out for us. He, he's doing his job. He's earning this, you know, whatever they're paying him. So he's, was he by himself, the investigator? No, like I said, there's the, the, the pretty girl was with him, and uh, there was three or four other people there charging phones and whatnot. There's some reporters down there. Oh, so, reporters. Um, but no, they were all right here. The, 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 the I guess the press people were over there. And then uh, we hiked out, and uh, there's been some bikers out the last couple of days um, doing the hurricane trail. So like bicycles, not yeah, yeah, bikers, not, not like, motorcycle yeah, guys. Okay. Uh, yeah. So other than that, it's just been the normal foot traffic around here. Right. Interview them. Interview them for an interview about the Would thing. You sure. Can you want an interview? Sure, why not? Do it. Okay. You know, just say you know what's what's hey, going on. You just say your first name. Don't okay. say your last name. Okay. Hello. Okay. I'll tell you when you're ready.
Okay, I'm Andrew. This is Achilles. <laughs> Hi, Achilles. So, um, we were just talking to you, and you told us that you've been out here since when? Uh, Saturday. Since Saturday. Yeah. And uh, when you were out here, there was a detective that was out here. Yeah, he said he was the lead investigator for the family. He was, a, I forgot his name, but he was a Spanish gentleman. He was very nice, very thorough. He was he, he, very insistent that we take a flyer, um, even though my, my girlfriend's like, I don't want to carry any more stuff. She's like really, you know, a hiker type. But anyway, um, yeah, he was very thorough. He talked to us at length about the situation. Uh, elaborate on that what type of questions did he ask um he asked if we had been here you know during that time and or if we knew anybody that had been here um i told him that, like i told you guys my dad lives further down up on the st john's on the houseboat okay. and he asked me if i could you know spread the word to him and maybe the houseboating community and see if you know anybody sees anything floating or, or whatever the did case. he did the detective say anything about any foul play like no, like he, suspects they're looking for he didn't mention anything like that just asked you if you've seen anything yeah, it was very very casual very uh was know, he asking just you or was he asking everyone that was here was there other people here yeah there was other people here when we got here he was talking this whole parking lot was full um he was talking to some people over here there was about five people at the table i assume they were probably with him and then we pulled up and he, he pretty much within five minutes he came up and started talking to us once he could tell we yeah because right Paola's vehicle was actually found here it was it, it, it was right here she was seen swimming that day that's December got, 18th about two house. two miles that's away that really sound, I mean I, I like I said I grew up on the rivers around here and that, that sounds really like an alligator related situation and I mean it's sad to say but she could pop up any time, you know what I mean? And, and she, they will find her. They will find her. Explain for the people that don't understand what alligators do. If you, since you've yes, been around here, you've known alligators. Uh, just explain what you your understanding of an alligator attack is. Well, typically what they like to do is the larger prey, like a dog or a person, they would drag down and drown them. And a lot of times, you know, there'll be trees as large as this pine right here underneath the water. Obviously not intact, but and a lot of times what they'll do is lodge stuff underneath there to save their energy if they can get them under there and wedge them in something and then they'll come back later or if they have babies as the babies can feed on it then too so she's listed as 410 145 pounds that wouldn't be a problem for wouldn't her. be a problem and, 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 like even i mean and it's like there's a lot of mama gators on oh, this like area over here like i guess the otter spring is what it's called mm -hmm. and they're just very aggressive you know and if you're swimming in, in Especially if you're waiting and you don't know where you're going, you know. There's even, signs out there. I've seen them at Kelly Park. I've seen them in Kelly Park. So they don't give, they're. So they, they got signs here that yeah. say, do not feed or swim. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, while you were out here, have you seen any alligators? No, I haven't seen any, but I haven't been by the water much, honestly. Let me ask you this. So um, you've been out here since Saturday. Have you seen any um, questionable people? Um, you know, somebody that gives you homeless a, people, any type of people out here, like creepy people. Pretty much everybody that came by, and like I said, I was kind of not feeling the best for two days. But everybody that came out, and like there was a couple people that kind of like, you know, if you're at a campsite, you're not really supposed to go up to other people's campsites. But I guess a lot of people don't know that. But other than that, you know what I mean? Like people stopped when they were hiking, sat on the bench at our campsite. No big deal. I'm not that kind of. Where did you camp? Um, Big Buck. We're still big, at buck. big Buck. Oh, is that your blue oh, tent over there? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, okay. That's my girlfriend's we were tent. a little yeah. close to your tent. Just thought uh, we'd so, watch so, it. We, <laughs> we were there. We came from there. We came from Otter uh, Campground and went up to Big Buck. And then, uh, yeah, that's but we saw a blue at. tent and, out there. Uh, we seen, uh, I guess some guys are doing the hurricane biking trail. It's like some 600 mile trail. We talked to them at length. Um, they were from Alabama or something. Mm -hmm. But um, the, the lead investigator, you didn't see him out on not the trails. Si not he was just. Not since that day. I have. He was sitting right there with a long uh haired pretty spanish girl uh, very nice you know they came and petted the dog just like you guys and mm -hmm. yeah um very nice very thorough you know but they didn't mention anything about the mental thing or the foul play or, or anything like that and you know or not like they didn't say anything about a criminal investigation no no it seemed very like i say very casual like just did you see anybody type of thing and then um my girlfriend actually came back at the end and asked him for a, a description of what she was wearing that day mm -hmm. and they said that uh independent camper footage showed that she was wearing i think a burgundy something yeah, or another, like a so, burgundy sports top but um you know we kind of had to ask him that part but other than that they were, they were pretty thorough i mean he was out here I, I don't i don't know what capacity of a detective he is or whatever obviously i don't think he's a cop but like not a cop cop you know but mm -hmm. he, he was he was he was talking to everybody out here so gotcha. and there's a lot of people out here so you as a guy have you camped out in different areas like this alone before uh i don't 
like camping by myself. Why? Like, because, I mean, just anything could happen out here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of snakes, to be honest with you. And if you get bitten by a snake, your ability to run is, is really... You, you got like 45 minutes. Right. And, you know, I always say whenever you're camping, especially in the wilderness, you want to be near your vehicle. Yeah, so if yeah. there is some yeah, large you prey, get... you have some protection. It... Here, you're you're walking almost two miles yeah, yeah. Um, just to get to a campsite. So you're two miles away from any kind of real right, shelter. Or anything. Luckily, there is phone service out yeah. here. Um, which surprised but she, her phone was in her car. Yeah, so that yep. was the thing. Her phone was found when they found her, her car. car was he, that's crazy. With the keys. Now the question is, did she go where she was seen? You Swimming, know, waiting. Yeah. Did she have her phone and, and keys and come back here and something happened here, or she went somewhere else from here? I had lived at Adams Ridge Road and Wakiva Springs for eight years, and then I lived at um, Hunt Club right there on the golf course for another year or so, and in all that time. Uh, I've lived on the east side of Orange County. There's a huge homelessness problem in this area, a huge drug addict problem in this area. This area has, Seminole County is very, 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 very vigilant about that. Mm -hmm. And this, these park guys are very good too. Yeah, because you have to go through the front entrance to get here. like that. It's, on the east side, sure. Have you heard of any crimes done in here, this park, no, ever? Like never, a murder, never, rape, nothing, foul play? Nothing like that. Just kids getting drunk and doing stupid shit. That's the only... That's the only thing, it's, and, and usually somebody gets hurt in the process, so it's, it's not even, you know, um, it, I, it's just, if it was on the east side in one of the parks over there, I would, I would say 100%. What is the worst thing that you've heard happen in this area? Not necessarily in this park, but I in... I guess Kelly Park, a kid got eaten by a gator. Kelly Park, a guy got trapped in the cave. How far is that from here? Kelly Park, I think, has the crow flies. I think it's only like two miles, but to drive to it, it's like 30 minutes because you right. got to go all the way through a popka. How long ago down. was those the incidents? Uh, I mean, I've been going there since I was a kid, so it's just stuff you hear. One day, I, was, I think I was like, I, I remember because I was nine years old, I jumped in, you know, where the, the starts with the tubes, you know, I jumped in and I hit my, right on one of those big rocks oh. on the, on my knee, and it was terrible, terrible day, and that actually still hurts to this day, but the yeah, point of that is, a guy got stuck in the cave that day, and that's like the worst thing I've really heard, and usually the stuff with the gators is further out on the, on the uh -huh. St. John's, but... I, I've seen them in Kelly Park, you know, I've seen them in Kelly Park, um, and that, that seems like the most, I mean, I'm, I'm not right. an ecological scientist or anything, but just based on living in Florida my whole life, and, you know, if it was the ocean, I'd say a shark, and since it's the river, it's, you know, it's it was probably, it's, and since she hasn't been found, yeah. she's got to be lodged but under. But even with the... You're saying she got to be lodged under... Do you know if there's caves on this river? Like, how does that work? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's tons, of, there's tons the of caves all through... Caves? Oh, yeah, and not in this particular area that I know of, but mm -hmm. at Kelly Park, which really isn't that far. And, you know, this area has been inhabited for 7,000 years. Yeah. So, um... But wouldn't even with the gator attack, wouldn't there be like potential Something. articles you would think, of clothing, but you understand a shoe? The amount of water coming out of these springs, it's yeah. millions of gallons per second. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is pushing. So, and that's just one spring. You got Kelly, Wakaiba, and they are all pushing. I mean, the craziest thing where my dad's at on Silver Glen, there's this island when you come in because you go through a lake and then the spring pushes out. You kind of go in from the side of Lake George into Silver Glen. And it's pushing out so much water into the lake, but there's a little island right there. And people actually get off their boats and shit on the island. Like, I don't understand, like, why you would do that. It's disgusting. Like, right. why not just go in the water where it's going to be sanitary? But gotcha. anyway, it's just because the amount of water is so... I'm, again, I'm not a scientist. You could look it up. I'm sure it's in the millions of the gallons per, maybe not per second, but probably per hour or something, something gotcha. along those lines. Lots of water. Lots of water. Well, so, thank you for your insight. And, you know, uh, if you see her, contact obviously. police. Yeah, and, obviously. you know, um, thanks thanks for providing us this information. So and thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys have a good so one. Much. All right. <laughs>